Hello guys, welcome to another Unity tutorial for the senders and today I'm gonna talk about terrain settings and basically I'm gonna show you on my workflow when I'm sculpting jumps, burns and landings. So let's go. Okay, first thing we are going to the hierarchy, right click through the object and terrain. And first we're gonna put uh, good values in the terrain settings in the resolution area so everything we're gonna build on the terrain it's gonna look detailed and really good you can put any values you like there are some limits but these are my settings so feel free to try them okay so let's add some texture to the terrain as you can see we don't have any here yet so right click on the project import package environment and let's uncheck everything except the terrain assets Once you are done importing, we can grab the texture to the left slot, which is the Alvedo one. Let's click Add, and there we go. Okay, so I made this little hill here, so I can put the start. A little bit elevated so I can gain some I can gain some speed when starting the trail let's add a secondary texture so I can paint a line to follow So let's not forget to put the start line. So another good practice is to put a bike model so you can work uh, with the actual scale of the bike from the game so you are not building like jumps too big or too small for it also let's not forget the finish line Okay, so the tools we are going to work with are the F1, F2 and F3 in your keyboard. Those are the keybinds for race tool, the paint height and the smooth height. Okay. It's really important for you to know the keybinds on your keyboard. So you can use those circuits to work faster and be more efficient. So the first thing I'm doing here is to raise a little bit the terrain until the height I, I really want to make the jump, more or less. And then use the F2 tool, which is the paint height. And by clicking while holding the shift, you want to take the values of the height on the terrain you're clicking on. Also we can use the shaded wireframe so we can see the geometry of the terrain so it's easier for us to, to see what we are doing to the terrain 
because you know sometimes it's really difficult to see what you're doing because of the, the shadows or the colors of the textures so keep in mind when you are working with the terrain tools in unity you are not modeling like in blender you're sculpting so my workflow here is to make a square and then start uh, smoothing the, the sides until I get the shape of the jump, the landing or the burn. Also keep in mind that my workflow is not that easy at first, that it takes a lot of time practicing and it takes a lot of patience refining every corner and every face of the jump or feature you're making so be consistent and keep practicing this is really the only way to make good features there's nobody who starts making maps and they already know how to make perfect features it takes a lot of practice Okay, so we are going to start smoothing the sides. I always like uh, to make the, the three sides you are not going to ride on first. And then build the jump, the last thing. Okay, so this, this already looks good for me, as you can see it can, it can look way better if I put some time on it, but yeah, I'm just doing this for a tutorial and to show you my workflow so you can put it in practice. Starting from the square, we are gonna the raise and smooth the sides until you are happy how it looks. Okay, I think it does already look really good for me. So let's go for the berm now. And this is quite the same process, but just not a, like a square, but a curve instead. This can take a, a little bit more time but it's it's fast and easy anyways
okay so i think it looks quite well it's not perfect but i think this works already let's gonna finish this side Let's not forget to kill the main camera and check for extra scenes. If everything is good, let's let's export the map. Okay, here's the map already exported. And let's test everything. So the jump works but it seems that the landing is a bit too much far so we will need to make it closer okay so back to unity it seems that we are landing here so i'm gonna need to rebuild the landing so it's gonna work perfectly the jump we wait. It seems it works really well right now it's uh, we can make it more closer I guess but it works and the last thing I'm gonna show you for this tutorial is how you can add grass so in the so we will go here in paint details Edit details, add grass texture, and then we're gonna find where we have the grass texture and we're gonna drag it to the detail texture. Let's, let's click add and we can start painting our grass wherever we want. So the map is gonna look way better this way. recommend that you double click on the on the grass and then you can change the some of the color of it and main and max width and the same with the height and some noise spread value so this way it's gonna it's gonna look way more natural Let's go for the trees, add tree, then as you can see we don't have trees yet, so let's right click on the project import package environment again, and inside the environment we can see the speed tree, so let's check that and click import. Okay, so now you can select uh, the tree you want to paint I'm gonna take this one and you can paint trees already make sure you change the values so it fits your liking make 
here to play around the values of the brush because if you add uh, a lot of trees it's gonna be very intensive for RGBO for sure also you can randomize the height of your trees so it's gonna look way more natural this way So this is the end of the tutorial, hope you liked it and hope you learned something from this. Now we have uh, cherry textures, we know how to build ramps, landings and burns, we know how to add grass and trees and this is basically all you really need to make your first map. So I hope this tutorial improved your workflow and don't forget to practice so leave a like, subscribe if you didn't already and see you on the next tutorial guys, see ya!